Okay, so if we talk about the near future, then we see the transition between what, where we are today in generation one electric vehicles and where we want to be next year in generation two electric vehicles as being quite a, a radical step, but uh, it's, it shouldn't take so long. Uh, we've been developing the concept of um, distributed micro factories and uh, new models of design and development, new material technologies, uh, new vehicle architectures to accommodate uh, the challenge of uh, electrification in vehicles. So essentially taking the cost out of the vehicle architecture and designing it to fit um, uh, the electric, electrification need. Um, and uh, so that's something that's been going on for some time. So. Um, this uh, this idea of um, you know future, yeah, what is the future vehicle and and when will it come? We think actually it's coming already. It's it's not so far away, which is very exciting. But then you can also talk about the future as in you know the potential of drones and uh, flying cars and autonomous vehicles and all of these things are hindered a little bit by physics, but also by legislation and adoption and. Uh, uh, you know, acceptance by society. So there's, there's lots of other challenges at play. But if we're just talking about um, uh, achieving a cost parity, for example, between electric, electrified vehicles and diesel vehicles in conventional combustion engine, then uh, we believe we're there already. I'd like to be really selfish and say that there's a huge potential for, you know, the biggest potential is in material development, right, in, uh, for, for carbon nanotubes and in particular single wall carbon nanotubes. Um, but the reality is quite different, I think. Actually, uh, the biggest impact they will have will most likely be in energy, uh, energy conversion and energy storage. Uh, and on top of that, um, there are many opportunities for introducing carbon nanotubes into our products to increase efficiency, reduce weight, improve impact protection, um, uh, minimize waste. Uh, it, lots of opportunities, I think, uh, in our vehicles going forwards. A lot of those have been demonstrated uh, in this, you know, by the people who are exhibiting here. So it's really nice to see. And what we're trying to do at Arrival is, is make the most of the opportunities that are there, but also to, um, we're also quite willing to take um, big steps in application of nanotechnology and single wall carbon nanotubes. You know, as long as it's safe, we're trying to understand the sort of maximum benefit we can get from them as a kind of multifunctional additive. So avoiding having to duplicate on additives, single wall carbon nanotubes could perhaps replace multiples with one. And this is a big advantage for us. So just in terms of material development, there's obviously big opportunities in things like anti-static behavior, electrostatic behavior such as coating systems. Ultimately, improving mechanical properties is, it would be a big win for us. So where we can replace metals, lightweight, uh, optimized manufacturing, uh, single wall carbon nanotubes present many opportunities. There's companies all over the world experimenting with carbon nanotubes, and there's some companies who are applying them really successfully already, right? Finding these people is uh, extremely difficult, even though we have a good relationship with Oxial already. It, there's so much going on that it's hard to keep on top of it. And uh, a summit like this, a conference like this, is fantastic because you walk around and you see things that are happening that you didn't know were happening that you can directly use the learning from. So we're able to make new contacts, we're able to set up collaborative projects, we're able to take developments that have happened and apply them. So uh, from last year we had many good projects um, from the summit and from this year I'm looking forward to uh, yeah, kicking off some more really good projects with uh, other participants. So really excited, really happy with how it's going.